everybody welcome back to three little masters so our summer vacation is almost over sadly but on the bright side school is starting in two days so because of covid19 lockdown our school has decided to do distance learning for this trimester so that's what we're doing right now i know most schools around the globe are doing the same so i decided why not share some tips about distance learning to make your distance learning easier. First things first, find a spot or room in your house where you can attend classes peacefully and focus. The second thing is finding a desk and a chair. My desk is this. I also have a couple of shelves up here. Now let's add the needed supplies to our workspace. First, I chose a computer. You can use a phone or an iPad. I chose computer because it works best for me. I also chose some headphones and the computer's charger. I'm going to be hanging up my headphones up here on this nail. Now I'm going to put the computer and charger next near each other. That would be helpful is a study lamp. If you have a study lamp, use it. But if you don't, it's totally fine. I'm gonna keep my study lamp right in the corner. Step four, organize your books and important papers. So I have a bunch of books here and I also have a basket for organizing my books. If you don't have a basket, just neatly stack them up. But since I have a basket, I'm going to be adding my books in like this. And now I'm going to put my books in this corner. Step five, organize your school supplies. So you can organize your school supplies in a basket. I have a small basket here. In a pencil box. Or my lamp here has some spaces to put some school supplies. So you choose whatever you like. So I'm going to be keeping some things in the basket and some things on my lamp for easy reach. Now I'm gonna be showing you how I organize my things. So here I have Sharpie, stencils, scissors, glue, and more stuff. I'm gonna be putting my pencils into the lamp. As well as one Sharpie. Eraser in one of my boxes. Now in this I'm going to be putting some more artistic things like so a stencil, a ruler, one sharpie, and scissors, glue, and cans. Also here are some thumbtacks to hang stuff. I'm going to be putting them in there. Now I'm going to put my school supplies basket there and my lamp where it was. Step six, take a binder or a folder and put all your important things here. Here I have some binder dividers for different subjects to put different notes and papers. I won't be keeping in my workspace though. I'm gonna be keeping it somewhere near. It's gonna be in my shelf up here. Step seven, keep a calendar in your room. I have a calendar here and I wrote down some important dates. It helps you keep track of when things are coming up, like projects, tests, or just other things. Step eight, keep a timetable or schedule with you. I have two schedules here and I'm going to be tacking them to the wall up here. Step nine, write down your login information, like Google Classroom. So I'm going to be putting my username and my password. Now, some people use Zoom, so write down your Zoom login. Feel free to write down whatever you need. Now let's hang it up on the wall. Step 10, write down tech support and teacher info such as phone numbers and email IDs.
Step 11, this is probably one of the most important tips that I'm giving you. Hydrate, keep a water bottle filled with water when you attend classes. A good place would be here. Apart from all these steps, make yourself feel happy and comfortable by adding some of your favorite things. I chose some llamas, my flamingo, and a painting. Put them near or around your workspace. And Uni, my unicorn toy. And she's gonna sit right here. Also pretty important, let's say that you are doing your meeting. So I would come and put my computer here. So make sure that you have some space so you can do your work and homework. These are the tips I found helpful. If you have any other ideas, please write it in the comments. And wishing you a great school year.